Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our 3 minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic is Special Purpose Vessels and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 31 verses 1 to 3. Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability and expertise in all kinds of crafts. For about two weeks, we've been speaking through the lens of scripture about what being filled with the Holy Spirit really means. All through last week, we looked at scriptures from the New Testament, Acts of Apostles to be precise, and we tried to see what happened to men and women who the Bible recorded were filled with the Holy Spirit. Today, from the Old Testament, we see a very interesting and rare instance. I'll give a bit of background. The Israelites had left Egypt and God was giving Moses instructions on how to build the temple where he and they could fellowship. He warned Moses several times that he, that is Moses, had to build the temple to the exact pattern that he had shown and described to him. It couldn't have been an easy task because if you read um, towards the end of Exodus, you would see the intricate detail that God put into the description of the temple. He described things down to the thread that will be used for um, the temple. Uh, anyway, God then tells Moses, the exact artisan who would do most of the temple work. And guess what God says? I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, a master at craft, and I have filled him with the spirit of God. This guy was a craftsman. The Bible calls him a master at his craft, if you read further down. But if he was going to be able to do the work that God had commissioned Moses to lead, he needed to be filled with the spirit of God. I have always found the scripture about Bezalel very instructive. It teaches me a couple of vital things. First, you cannot really serve God in the exact way he wants without being filled with the Holy Spirit. Bezalel was a master at craft, but to do the work God wanted to pattern, he had to be filled. By our very design, we are not able, we are not constructed to be able to follow God's bidding to the letter. And remember, the charge to Moses is the charge to all of us who mention the name of the Lord. We are to build according to pattern. As skillful as Bezalel was, he needed to be filled with the Holy Spirit in order to be able to keep the pattern. His skill was not enough. The second reason why I really love this scripture is that Bezalel was not a priest. He was a craftsman going about his normal business in the same way some of you are teachers, lawyers, doctors, healthcare workers, artists and bankers. God can call you to serve in any of those capacities. And once he does, even though you are not in the fivefold ministry, you will need to be filled with the spirit of God if your work will be acceptable to him and be done according to pattern. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Father, I pray that in every sphere you post us to you, you will give us the grace to know and understand that to please you, to walk according to pattern, we will need to be filled by your spirit. Fill us, Lord, therefore, that our work will be done with a skill that is from heaven to the end that we will continue to bring glory to your name. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.